Hi friends, thank you for your overwhelming response in our previous Hadoop real-time project video. It is really happy to see a lot of uh, technical people out there who are watching technical videos. It's uh, really made us happy. So thank you. So the same big data series, we are going to see one more project, which is we are going to get the data from Twitter and then we are going to do the, some processing and then we are going to see the results. I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, oh, what Twitter, man, I can get the details, everything from internet already. Hey, wait, before uh, thinking that, just wait. In this project, we are not going to code anything. We are just going to write few SQL queries at the end of the project in order to make the data understandable. So previously, we are using just uh, memory lines, every memory lines, everything. Today, we are going to use a recent tool called Kafka. Apache Kafka, which we are going to use. Through that, we'll fetch the data and then we'll put the data into SDFS. If you don't know what is Kafka, I'll just provide the link in the description. You can go and watch it and come back so that you'll be able to understand the video very much clearly. So we are going to put a lot of videos in this channel, more for big data, technical and informative videos. If you haven't subscribed, just subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon in the next so that you will not miss any videos from us. So why are we waiting? Let's go into the video. Let's go. Hi friends. Today we will see one big data project using the tool Kafka and Flume, which is a recent tool. Kafka, many projects are using Kafka for their ingestion of the data and they are using it for streaming and other purposes. So we will use Flume Kafka integration in this project mainly and then we'll put the data into Hive and then we'll process some um, and, we, and then we'll try to process the data and gain some insights on the project. So for this, this <coughs> For this project the entire flow will be we'll get the data from the twitter i'll just explain we'll get the data from the twitter this is the twitter we'll get the data from twitter and then we'll use flume agent to fetch the data from there so once we fetch the data we will use we'll put the data into kafka so this is kafka so kafka will be our channel for our flume so this is kafka and then after that We'll just push the data into HDFS. Once the data is there in HDFS, we'll create one Hive table on top of that Hive external table. This is, let's say, this is our Hive external table. So currently what happens is whenever the data is available in this HDFS location, the external table will be, we will be able to query it from the Hive external table. So what we will do after Hive external table is, we'll try to create the layer two of the Hive table. Here we'll have the processed data processed tweets I will say, to gain the insights from that so this is the entire flow of the project but why are we using kafka here can't we just remove kafka from here and use flume and use some other channel just to push the data to sgfs yes it is certainly possible we can entirely remove kafka from this altogether of the architecture itself but if we use kafka what we can do is some other application also can consume the data from Kafka. Let's say application 2 in the same project is wanted to consume the same data. They can consume it. App 2. Let's say app 3 also wants to consume. Okay, consume. App 3. Yeah, it's possible. So all the much more applications can consume the same data and do the processing on top of that. And we can have the data in Kafka for 7 days. It's a default period. You can increase or decrease the days. That's up to us. That's also fine. It is possible. Based on this reason, we are using Kafka as a memory channel so that other application also can uh, receive or do some analytics or some streaming processing, anything that's possible. So this is the entire project. What are the, what's the beauty about this project is we are not going to write any coding. It is not going to be Java, Python, no coding is required. Just all you need is all configuration details and setting up all those things. And finally, you just have to write SQL queries in the end of Hive. So that's it for this project. Okay, let's go into the demo of the project. Currently, I'm using Cloudera VM. And uh, if you want to download and install Cloudera VM, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. You can go and download the VM and install it in your local. You can use the same setup. So Cloudera VM does not come with Kafka. So what I did it, I manually installed Kafka inside Cloudera VM, but you can install through Cloudera Manager also. That is up to you. So I have already installed Kafka here. So let me just start the Kafka server here first. So I'm just going to start the Kafka server first. So it's just starting <coughs> and the Kafka has started right now. So our first step is done. We are like, uh, our initial setup is done. We have started the Kafka server. Now we have to start the Flume. So in Flume agent, this is a server to start the Kafka server. After that, we have to start the Flume agent. So before starting Flume agent, I have configured everything in Twitter Kafka.conf. In this file, I have configured what is source, 
what is the target everything i have configured so with in the with this file i'll start the flume agent so this is twitter source is twitter it is channel channel is channel and i have given channel here as a apache from kafka channel so here i mentioned the zookeeper and then after that i mentioned what topic it is going to use and what's the group id and what's the earliest everything i mentioned here and also i put the target path is this twitter underscore clouder underscore kafka the here my data will get stored in a target sdfs okay and it will use um, kafka as a channel so that is what my twitter configuration is now what i'm going to do is i'll just start my twitter agent so that data will get pushed from here to there and also these things are important you have to use your own channel keys consumer keys access token to get the data so i have already get everything from twitter paste it okay now let's start flume agent <coughs> so the flume agent is getting started right now receiving status stream it is going into flume temporary data is currently loading over there and 200 records is coming now 300 400 once it reaches 1100 then it will stop that's why we, that's how we configured our set of files okay i guess it stored some data already let's go and look into the data user cloudra twitter kafka and kafka i think i already have already i've already checked over there because i I'll just before i was running the data so let's see how data is coming <coughs> I'll just do Hadoop FS LS, and then you can see the data is coming from the Twitter to here in a JSON format. It's a JSON format. I'll open and show it to you. And this is a temp. This data shows this is where currently data is getting written. So the data is currently writing over there. So it keeps on writing. Once it's completed, then we'll create a new file. So let's just open some file. Has the FS FS cat. after that we'll just do the cat of this file yeah it shows lot of some kind of different letters that's coming as a noise which we can remove eventually upcoming but all together it has some data <coughs> okay it has some data somebody tweeted something it has some json kind of data this data will be in the format of json so this is called we call it as a json it starts and ends with curly braces okay that's how we tell it as a json we have lots of parser to parse data so that is already json so this is a json this starts and ends here and within that you will have all the information name is doc what is the information and inside json you have the all this this is name is id type is string and the name everything is there let's find out text what is text text <coughs> text will be the actual data that will be containing the information and here it has no data in this it's null so many data you will be receiving as null that we can remove it in uh, like in flume layer also if not possible then we'll remove it in a hive layer so this is the first part is done after that now data is are receiving into uh, our uh, hdfs now let's create one table in hdfs pointing to the same location where what we have mentioned in what we have mentioned in the wherever the data is coming there we will point the location currently slash user twitter cloud or kafka here we'll create an external table and then we will uh, like see the data so i'm creating a table and just pointing the same location so now if i would select star from twitter raw data and then i'm entering i am getting lot of data which is not properly there but anyway i have 78730 records is there in this table so from this we can get into the next layer by doing the layer 2 table we can create layer 2 and then we can do the stuffs okay now we'll create the layer 2 table so layer 2 table i'm just going to use it i'm just going to create this tweet and then let me recreate it this is just a managed table i'm just creating select star from tweets i'm just putting it is not returning any data so this is an external table so i need to insert it from the previous table so this is the insert table from one table to another table so i am just taking the twitter raw data which is there which is which just we created previously and from here we are inserting into tweets so we are uh, doing all the get json object and then we are inserting the json method to do the process okay i'm just using all these things then let me insert copy and then i'm just pasting it here in semicolon so it will create map reduce job and then once it uh, finish then we will be able to see the data in a tweets table which is our process layer 2 table 
so from now what we are doing is we are uh, copying the data from layer 1 to layer 2 so it is completed and it took totally 6 seconds and let's see what is there in the layer 2 select star from mm, select 7 feet and it <coughs> and it has lot of data and it is kind of uh, processed and now let's see what is the data is there in this now let's see what is the information is there in this one select select text from tweet. so if we tweet then it will just get what are the tweets over there from there it will just show from here there to here so here you can see only some of the what are the exact tweets that is coming from there to here some of the data are null so that is again getting displayed and there are a lot of null cancellation we need to do in this one and we've done couple of things which removed a lot of data from the previous data so we need to do more on this thing so that we'll get the accurate da accurate data from this uh, previous layer so that we'll, we can able to do more on this one whatever the uh, required things we need we can do this we can run this flume agent all the way like one day two day one month and then we'll be able to for we'll be able to get more data out of this after that we'll be able to tell what the kind of analytics we want to do whether we want to do this slice and dice data and do more kind of analytics on top of that so that is a project which we can do based on this flume and we can using kafka as a channel to get the data from the twitter to sgfs and then sgfs to doing processing and then all all sort of stuff this is the one project flow which you can try on your own and learn Kafka, Flume or Hive or whatever it is if you want to learn. And we are also taking online classes for big data and machine learning and Hadoop admin. If you are interested, you can join us. You can call us in the number below and we have also mentioned our email ID in the description. You can call us. If you find this video useful, give us a thumbs up. If you think this video will be useful for your friends who is learning technical, just share the video and if you want to see more videos from us, just subscribe our channel and we are taking online sessions for spark and big data if you want to join you can contact us through this mobile and then email id so that's it for this video we'll see you in the next video thank you for watching this is our signing off bye bye